Truth 4. Not all probiotics need to be refrigerated. The days when a probiotic supplement required refrigeration are long gone. In fact, many of the probiotics that require refrigeration are less likely to be active and have a smaller chance to survive the trip through the stomach acid. In order to understand why, let's review some basic science on how bacteria grow. Probiotic bacteria have a four-phase life cycle. Lag phase. In the first phase, bacteria mature and grow in size, but they are not yet able to divide. They adapt to their environment during this phase. Growth or exponential phase. Bacteria in the growth phase use nutrients to replicate exponentially. They are most susceptible to harmful environmental conditions during this phase. Static or stationary phase. Bacteria enter this phase when growth and death rates are equal. It kicks in when the nutrients needed for replication are depleted or the waste generated from replication blocks further growth. Death phase. Growth stops and bacteria continue to die off. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Probiotics are sold in all four phases. Probiotics that require refrigeration contain growth phase bacteria that are constantly consuming nutrients and replicating. Refrigeration extends the shelf life of these products by slowing down the rate of replication. Without refrigeration, these bacteria would quickly consume all available nutrients and enter the death phase in a matter of weeks or even days. Probiotics containing lag phase bacteria do not need to be refrigerated because there is no nutrient consumption or replication until the growth phase. Non-refrigerated probiotics have a longer shelf life than refrigerated probiotics because bacteria can remain in the lag phase for a long time. Non-refrigerated probiotics are more resilient than refrigerated probiotics. The lag phase is when bacteria are most adaptive to their environment, so probiotic bacteria in this state are better at surviving the acidic environment of the stomach on their way through the gut. Refrigerated probiotics are far less likely to survive a trip through the stomach acid because bacteria are most susceptible to environmental harm during the growth phase. This means that probiotics that do not require refrigeration will have better survival rates than refrigerated probiotics. Non-refrigerated probiotics are more convenient. Refrigerated products need to be stored in the refrigerator. So what happens when you travel? How do you know that it hasn't been sitting in a warm warehouse for days before being delivered to your doorstep? Are you going to remember to take it regularly when it's tucked away on a refrigerator shelf? You shouldn't have to bother with these questions. Convenience is important. Go with the probiotic that doesn't need to be refrigerated. Take it with you on the road. Mix it in your water bottle. Keep it on your nightstand, the kitchen counter, or anywhere else that will make it easy for you to remember to take. After all, your probiotic supplement isn't going to do a lot of good if you don't remember to take it.